Good morning children. Today we are going to see addition, the new chapter. Today I will give you the just introduction. That is a recap what you have learned in class 3 only. Just now let's see what is addition. Addition means now I will give an example here. Now here if you see in this in this box there are 3 balls and here 2. Here there are 3 and here there are 2 balls and here there are 4 balls. Okay, so they are in different different uh, boxes. This three uh, bo uh, balls in one box and two balls in one box. Again, four balls in another box. So they are in three different boxes. Now all these whatever is there in three boxes, we put it in one box. All this whatever is there, we put it in one box. Then we find how many number. So how many it will be here now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So total nine is here. Okay, so this is called addition. That means the numbers, no, different numbers, each individual numbers, we put it together. That is called addition. Okay, here it is individually, these uh, balls are in different, different boxes. Now all these balls, uh, what is in different boxes, where different boxes, we put it in one box and we find the total number. That is the addition. When we put it in one box only, it is in three. And now in this box only it was 2 and in this box it was 4. Now all this we put it in 1 and we count it in 1 count. No? This is in 3 counts. Here 3, here 2, here 4. So there are 3 counts. Now all this together we put it in 1 and we count in 1 count. No? That is the total. That is called the addition. Okay. So this, this plus this equal to 9. Okay, 3 plus 2 plus 4 equal to 9. This is called addition. That means the uh, individual numbers. That means uh, for addition at least you need 2. Okay, so 2 individual numbers. Otherwise more than 2. These numbers individually these numbers are there. All these numbers we put it together in 1. And we count it. That is called the addition. Okay, now let's see some fact. Now let's see the fact otherwise the rules okay so before fact and rules uh, we must know the basic that i will tell suppose now two numbers we are adding that is now 15 and 12 so this two number we are adding when we add we get it 5 plus 2 7 and 1 plus 1 2 okay so now this two number we have added now so this which are the two number we are adding this is called addends so the number which are added that can be two numbers otherwise sometime three it can be more than three also how many numbers also it can be so which are the number we are adding that is called addends a double d e n d s and the total we are getting you know, that is called sum we can also call it total but mostly we say it is sum total otherwise sum okay sum is the main word okay so these two the, the numbers which are added they are called addends and the answer what you are getting that is called the sum. So this you must know this is the basic. So if you know then the fact when we say in sentence you will understand. Because we will be using addends and sum. So you must know what is addends and what is sum. That's why I have given. So let's now continue. Okay the first one is commutative property. Okay this is in your book it is men mentioned the order change of ordens. No? The order of ordens. It is given the order of ordens. Okay, this is, it is in your book it is given, but I prefer to all of you to use this word because when you go to higher classes, this is the word is used, this is not used. Okay, so you may, you if you are learning this one, then when it comes commutative property, you, you may think this is something new. So you learn it, this is the way, because higher classes, they will be using this is the one, commutative property, both are same meaning, order of ordens, otherwise commutative property. Okay, let's see what it is. Uh, this one I will be teaching in detail, but for this is one just for recap exercise, just I will say a simple example and I will give a short detail. Okay, here two numbers are here. We are going to add now 7 plus 2. When we add, you are getting 9. 7 plus 2, 9. Now you see 7 is first and 2 is second. That is the order, no? 7 is first and 2 is second. Now let's change this order. Order of the add -ins. 7 and 2 is the, this both are add -ins. Now let's change this order. That means let 2 come first and 7 come second. So 2 plus 7. Now if you add 
you will get the same sum 9 2 plus 7 9 so this is the property what it says means when you change the order of the add addends the sum doesn't change this remains the same the sum doesn't change that is called the order of ordens and we call it this is commutative property when the order of the ordens addends changes the sum doesn't change that is called commutative property this will help you when the sum is given suppose like this now 4 plus dash equal to 2 2 plus 4 if it is given like this, you know, you may confuse what number will come. So, the, here itself we can find. 4 is, this is an equal sign. Just you compare the numbers, uh, right side and left side of the equal sign. Okay. So, in the right side, 2 and 4, they are the add-ins. And in left side, 4 is there, one number is missing. So, that number will be what is on the right side, which is not there. That is the 1. So, 4 is here, 2 is only not here on the left side. No? So, this 2 will come in the in the uh, dash in this missing place no this will if you do a calculation it will take a long process but when you know this property it is easy see to do the calculation how you have to do this 2 you will be adding 2 plus 4 6 then from this 6 you will minus this 4 so 6 minus 4 2 you will get the answer okay this is the way you do the answer no but this is a long process but if you know this property without even calculating just by observing you can write the answer in this dash which is or you have to just observe the numbers on the right side and left side of the equal sign and which number is missing from both the sign no? you can compare same numbers only will be here the addends will be the same numbers so which num which addend is missing on the other side that number you write it that's all you don't need to do any calculation so this is the first fact otherwise the property we can say otherwise the rule now let's see the next one Next one is the property of 0. Okay, this is very easy only. Suppose if the number is here, 20. So with 20, this is one add -in. So now suppose the another add -in is 0. Okay, another add -in is 0. You no need to worry. Just need not to take time to calculate. Just you can write 20 is the answer. Okay, so if 0 is uh, added to any add -ins, the which add is there? The only one add is there. Only this will be the answer. Same number is the answer. Okay, the answer will not change. The same number what is there, that only will be there. So, it won't increase, it won't decrease. Okay, so when 0 is added to any number, the sum is the number itself. When 0 is added to any number, the sum, the sum is the, the number itself. Okay, it can be any number. Suppose here it is, uh, here is 127. So, with that if you add 0, it will be 127 only. So, 0 is second. So, you may think, you know, suppose it is in first place. 0 plus, uh, 0 plus 45. It will be 45 only. So, if you add 0 with any number, the sum is the number itself. If you add 0 with any number, the, and the sum is the number itself. Okay. So, suppose if it is given in the question like this. Um, dash plus dash plus 17 equal to 17 if it is given like that okay you don't don't sit and calculate just you can write directly zero if the number uh, the number only is coming as a sum then the another add on will be zero okay if the number is coming as a sum okay that is coming as answer then the uh, add on the another add on will be zero Okay, now the same thing, now I, will, I may give you to think, no, Let, so suppose if I have given like this, um, dash plus zero equal to dash, if I give, what will you do, any number you can write here, you can write three and the same number will be coming here, suppose if you are writing 13, the same number will be here. Like that, no, zero is coming means the same number only will be coming the other side. Suppose if it is given like this, zero equal to equal to sixty-three. Okay, what will be the answer? Six. If you add zero with any number, the number only itself the answer. No, so the number sixty-three. Okay, this is the way only this property will help you to find the answer easy way without even calculating if you know the properties the rules then without even calculating directly you can write the answer now the next property the next property is property of one 
this is also very easy only suppose if any number is there uh, like 8 is there with 88 if you add 1 you will get 9 8 plus 1 9 that means after 8 the number comes 9 isn't it so if you add 1 with any number the answer is the next number that's all okay now uh, here suppose 15 is here the 15 you have to add 1 so don't sit and calculate like 15 plus 1 like that no need to sit and after 15 what number will come 16 successor it is a successor so if you add to add 1 with any number just write the successor of the number that's all that means just to write the next number suppose 100 is here so with 100 you have to add 1 so don't sit and calculate after 100 what is the next number 101 that's all that is the answer okay so this is the another property the property of 1 that means if you to add 1 with any number just you have to write the next number otherwise the successor of the number that is the answer okay so this all I will go in detail the when other exercise comes okay Okay, here in recap exercise first one B, here is you see in two add and one add and is missing. Okay, but the sum is given to find this answer. Now I will not give this answer for this another example I will give. You have to do the same method. Okay, suppose here uh, now the number is dash. This dash can be any place. The add and can be in any place. The dash can be. Now suppose here 5 and here it is 12. So you have to find this missing add and. So the missing add and can be in any place. Okay. So, you have to find this one. To find this, what you have to do? From the sum, you minus this one addon that is given. Okay, so the sum is 12. So, from there, you minus the addon given. So, the addon is here, what? 5. So, that you minus. 12 minus 5, 7. So, the 7 is the other addon which is missing. Okay, so to find the missing addon, you minus, uh, minus from the sum the addon which is given. Okay, the given addon, so that means one addon is missing, one addon is given, that addon you minus from the sum, then you will find the another missing addon. Okay, so the same method you have to do this one, that means from the sum you will minus the addon, so that you will get the missing addon. Okay, this is the last sum given in the recap exercise not the last sum third sum it is given here it is given the different baker baker's name no baker's names are given raj bakery uh, peter bakery dimelo bakery rashid bakery it is given and the monday tuesday in a week no how many dozens it is not 20 only 20 uh, they are not just baking 20 cookies it is 20 dozens okay one dozen is 12 so 20 dozen means 20 into 12 that much okay the dozens you don't need to bother to calculate the dozens so these numbers are given now the questions are given so before answer the question just you find the total and fill up here okay so Raj, uh, Raj bakery how much they are baking in a week from Monday to Saturday how many they are baking this all you total up and write it here okay like that you fill it then you answer the question so the first one A it is asked which uh, which baker bakes the maximum maximum number of cookies so maximum means which is the greater total Okay, which is having the greater total. You are finding the total. No? In this which is having the greater total. That baker is baking the maximum number of cookies. Again the B question is asked minimum cookies. So minim, minimum cookies means which is having the less number of total. Okay, so in this 4 when you find the total which is having the less number of total. That is the minimum bakery it is cooking. Again the C1, how many dozens of cookies were baked by all the bakers on Wednesday? That means the Wednesday, uh, Raj Bakery 10 and uh, Peter Bakery 20, D. Miller 12 and Rashid 5, no? So this all you have to total up and write. Next one, D1, how many dozens of cookies were baked by Peter Bakery in a week? So in a week already you have to total up and found, no? Peter Bakery that you have to add and write that is the answer you have already would have added and written so that will be the answer for this d question okay so this is the way how to find the answer and write it so recap exercise it is easy only just adding so you can complete and give it. thank you